Yo, what's up guys, Felix from Giant Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to answer the most asked question when it comes to entrepreneurship and business, and that's about how to find and get good employees. Now, before this video starts, be sure to check the description down below to get access to all my courses and programs, whether it's about flipping medical commodities, flipping pallets, becoming an independent courier, getting access to recovery funds, flipping phones, and many other things, as well as my contact information is down there as well. So so let's talk about it. Finding, getting, having good employees. How do you do it? How is it done? Is it real? Is it possible? Is it a myth? Or is everybody out there looking to rob, steal, cheat, and lie to you? Now, you have to understand about finding good employees. There are no good employees out there. That is the biggest misconception. People think they're going to go out there and they're going to find these people that are going to fall from the sky and be perfect and it's not going to happen. Now, from time to time, you will find people who have good work ethic, good um, morals, good, um, you know, have integrity, they were, they're, they're good people. Whether they're young, old, demographics, don't matter. They're just really good people, they have work ethic, and they're not afraid to get their hands dirty. That will come from time to time. But most of the time, you will deal with the 95%, which are the employees that everybody says are garbage, are terrible, no work ethic, lazy. You have to understand that as you as the entrepreneur, you as the business owner, you as the leader, they're going to do what they see. You know, most people are followers in life and, you know, whatever, you know, they see their friends do or their parents do or their family does or their friends do, they follow. Monkey see, monkey do. Now, it's the same thing in business and in entrepreneurship and in a workplace. When you create the environment, they follow suit. They're going to do half right what you do. They're not going to be you. That's why a lot of people stay as a solopreneur, but they can never fully grow because or expand or scale their business because how much can you really grow if you're a one-man band if you're running a deli or if you're running a, a restaurant there's no possible way you could cook clean run the restaurant take care of all the guests wash the dishes and do everything you have to outsource but obviously you in your mind think or know nobody can do it like me nobody washes the dishes like me nobody does this like me nobody cuts the grass like me i'm, I'm going across all different businesses and my phone's ringing off the hook over here but I'm going to stick with this video because I want you guys to understand that these people that you want from like you know heaven sent they don't exist a few of them might exist but it's about you they're going to do half right what you do that's why in entrepreneurship and business on this journey that you're um, striving for yes financial freedom having excess money is a beautiful feeling and a great option to have in life but it comes with learning curves and there's a lot of skill sets that you have to um, equip yourself with one being leadership you have to learn how to become a leader you have to learn how to go out there and show people what to do before they do it that's why I always say that you know before you can outsource you actually have to do the business yourself because you can't show somebody a business a task or a position that you're not able to do successfully yourself so right out the gate, understand that these people that you want, these, you know, heaven sent, you know, perfect employees that, you know, work hard, have great energy, have great integrity, have great communication, it doesn't really exist. From time to time it will exist, but what you need to do is you need to become the greatest version of yourself. You need to equip yourself with all these skill sets of integrity, communication, networking, negotiation, sales skills, all these different pieces to the puzzle that come with entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship, like I said, entrepreneurship, financial freedom, being successful, um, controlling your financial situation, it's a beautiful thing, but it comes with a heavy price tag and that requires a lot of work, a lot of self-development, becoming the best version of yourself. If you can't become the best version of yourself, you can't push and help other people become to the best version of themselves. You know, there's a lot of great companies out there that have great work environment and there's a lot even more companies out there that have terrible work environment but it's all about you as the entrepreneur so the first thing that i would say is become the best version of yourself obviously you can't become the best version and you're going to have to go out there and imp hire employees and f probably either probably get lied to cheated to stole from but that's a part of the game but over time you will learn how to get better how to become more honorable, how to be a leader, how to communicate with them how to make people feel good and over time people will reciprocate that and not only bring it back to you, but bring it back to your company and bring it back to your employees. So they're not going to be perfect in the beginning. I'm trying to think about my first employee 
Um, you know, I have a lot of contractors that work for me that get paid like kind of on commission because I have properties and I'm not like paying them on a salary. Um, the only two people I pay on a salary are for the people who run my medical commodities business. Link down in the description below if you want to learn how to buy and resell diabetic medical commodities. So I have two people that run that business completely automated for me. Um, but probably in the beginning when I was having them put out the marketing pieces, which are not the same people that do it now, you know, it was kind of weird me being 19, 20 years old and hiring people. So you have to have a confidence factor to it because you know you are the boss, you are the person in charge. And you know your first few experiences hiring employees might be a little rocky, might be a little bit not the smoothest. But over time, as you learn how to treat people and pay people and give bonuses and really take care of people, you know, this is like your mini family. You really have to treat people well. There's so many jobs and careers and companies and organizations out there that literally treat their employees like crap. And it's crazy to me because your employers are the ones who are going to be the lifeblood of your business. So to recap, I'm not gonna have this video be too long. You're not going to find perfect employees falling out the sky. From time to time, it will happen, but it's very rare. Number two, become the best version of yourself. Work on yourself, work on your sales skills, your negotiation, your leadership, your mindset, your positivity. All these things are things that people don't think about when it comes to entrepreneurship, but you need to become the best version of yourself in order to be around and help other people get to the best version of themselves. And then from there, you can start hiring employees. If you really want to scale your business, you're going to eventually need employees. You can do a lot by yourself. There have been times where you know I've built six-figure companies, literally just me and me only. But if you want to have freedom, so for example, I am, um, if you guys can see it, I am in Mexico right now and my business is still running completely automated. So if you ever want to really be able to step away from your business and let the business run by itself, you're going to have to eventually hire employees. It's not going to be super smooth in the beginning. You're going to have to learn how to trust them. If you don't learn how to trust them, like I said, you're going to be stuck doing the job that you could have otherwise outsourced forever. A good book that you guys can read is The E-Myth. It shows you how to get out of the business because in the beginning when you first start a business and maybe you're making 5, 10, 15, 20, thousand dollars a month for the first one to two years it's really fun and really exciting but after and over time you're gonna be like listen this is cool and all I'm making good money and all but I want freedom I want out and I'd rather take a pay cut to be able to scroll uh, um, a personal pay cut to be able to grow the revenue of the business and that can only be done by hiring employees so there's no good employees out there there's no perfect employees get to the better version of yourself and start hiring people and treat them good you know, pay them on time, have good energy, have good communication. If you tell them something, stick to it. Um, give them bonuses, see how they are, check in with them. Don't just hire them and, you know, oh, once the work gets done, you pay them and kick them to the curb because that's what most of these companies do. Treat them good, see how they are. Give them um, bonuses for hitting certain goals. So, you know, be different, but at the same time, be the best you can be, but you can only be the best you can be when it comes to the work that you do on yourself. So there you guys have it. That's how you get employees. There's no good employees, but you can have good employees, but it starts with you. They're going to do half right what you do. And it really depends on how good you personally become. Do you read? Do you, um, are you getting better every single day? If you're not, then, you know, your employees are going to be pretty terrible. If you are, your employees might be good. But even if your employees are good, it's about creating a fun work environment. You see Facebook, you see Google, people love working for these companies. They give them bonuses, they give them day off, days off. Do you do that for your employees and your team? Because your employees or your team are gonna make or break you. There you guys have it. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to subscribe also. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'm going hard with these daily uploads and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.